what's going on everybody welcome back to another video and today we are going to be talking about two Winnipeg Jets defensemen Logan Stanley and Billy Hanela. There are wildly different opinions on the two players within the fan base, and you could even argue that, you know, it gets violent at times, you know, there's been a lot of Twitter wars, I've been a, I've been a part of them, I, you know, try to stay away from that kind of stuff now, but, you know, people definitely feel definitely one way or the other, there's not really a lot of people that are just like, oh, I like both, it's definitely, you know, hey, I like the big guy, or hey, I like the small guy kind of thing. For the last couple of seasons here in Winnipeg, there has been a logjam on defense. The Jets have had a lot of defensemen, and it just really hasn't allowed Vili to get his NHL shot. And, you know, maybe he should over a guy like Logan Stanley, who is being favored more so because of his size, right, by the coaching staff. A lot of people, including myself, think that Vili is the better player and probably should have been given a chance and runway a long time ago. But just everything, every time he seems to get an opportunity, something seems to happen. And uh, I don't know, I'm starting to think he's cursed. Obviously, at the beginning of this season, Villy went out in preseason, balled out, looked fantastic, and then in the last preseason game, uh, you know, kind of got tangled up weird and got a leg injury that set him out 12 weeks. He just recently returned. He's playing with the Manitoba Moose right now, and he is still currently there to this day. I believe he's been there for a couple of weeks now. And on the other side, Brandon Dillon has gotten suspended, so Logan Stanley steps in the lineup. A lot of people thought that Vili Hainala was going to step into that role. A lot of the media were a little bit confused why he didn't. When asked, Rick Bonus was just saying, you know, basically, he's not ready and it wouldn't be fair to put him in a situation like that pretty much saying that he was going to be set up for failure if he had been you know put back in the lineup so quickly at the NHL level and you know whether you believe that or not that's the excuse we're running with here on the flip side again back to the Jets Logan Stanley is a guy that himself is not happy it's been you know widely reported last season that he requested a trade as he wanted to get some playing time a trade never ended up being facilitated he really didn't play a lot last season barely played this season you know coming in for Nate Schmidt sometimes if they scratch Nate Schmidt and now he's filling in for Brendan Dillon as Brendan Dillon was suspended for three games for the hit on Nolachari so it's just kind of interesting to me you know at the end of the day now with Logan Stanley barely getting any ice time Vili Hainala playing with the moose not really looking like he's going to get an NHL shot this year is it's likely the Jets go out and acquire a defenseman before the deadline and you know it's just kind of funny all this fighting just for both guys not to really have NHL shots. I mean, Stanley's had his shot. He's burned basically every opportunity. He's not very good. He'll probably catch on with a different team and play, you know, six defenseman minutes. Maybe, you know, he's a seventh defenseman on another team. That's kind of what I see him as, and that's what he's been for the Jets this season. With the Jets being as good as they are this year, they are definitely in go-for-it mode. They're in win-now mode, so it wouldn't shock me if both of these guys are trade targets. You know, Stanley, more or less, would just be a guy to free up cap. I don't think the Jets are going to be really picky for what they get, uh, you know, back from him. I think they'll probably just want maybe a late-round pick or something like that just to get him off the books, clear the cap, and make room for somebody else. And if they're going after a defenseman anyway, Stanley's probably going to have to hit waivers uh, you know, if he doesn't get traded. So if the Jets can get something for him, that's great. If not, uh, you know, they get cap space either way. So I think that's probably on the horizon here. That's been rumored for a little while now, and I'm kind of shocked it hasn't happened yet, to be honest. And then you've got Vili Hainala, who is, you know, probably more valuable. I'd have to imagine he's younger. Uh, you know, his play style fits the modern NHL a little bit better. He's just overall got a higher ceiling. He just hasn't really gotten a shot in the NHL. I don't think his value is, you know, worth a first round or anything like that but I do think that you know could be equivalent to maybe a late second somewhere in there he's a very good prospect I wonder if he gets attached to a deal maybe with a second round pick maybe another prospect something like that to bring in a middle six forward to bring in a you know Chris Tan of a guy like that right because I do think Chris Tan is going to be more and more expensive right now it does seem like it's a second and a you know prospect to get him but I do think that uh, you know with the amount of teams that are interested in him that eventually one team is going to give up a first round pick if they haven't already I've talked about that before if the Jets are going to be aggressive this year uh you know I I wouldn't hate trading Billy Hanela to be totally honest I know some of you are going to be upset about that but at the end of the day we can't keep waiting around for the Jets just to continue wasting him. He still has value right now. He may not have value in a year or two. So moving him now and bringing in assets that are going to help the Jets go for a cup run and hopefully bring home Stanley Cup is priority number one right now. 
they've already given up their first round pick in the Sean Monahan deal. I don't imagine, you know, just based off track record, that they're going to want to give up next year's first round pick. I don't imagine they're going to give up top prospects like Rucker McGrory, Brad Lambert, Kobe Barlow. They are high on those prospects. And, you know, in the past, they just really haven't moved them. You, you know, they haven't moved their big prospects. And that's worked out for them in some cases. And in some cases, it just has not. So. You know, we'll see what happens, but Vili Hinala could definitely be on the chopping block, I'd have to imagine. I know Kevin Cheveldayov is a big fan of him, though, so maybe he does, you know, try to convince Vili that he will have a spot next season. But at this point, I feel like Vili has got to be super frustrated, uh, you know, at the role that he's at in his NHL career. I, I believe he could be an NHL defenseman on a many, many, many different teams right now. Uh, but, you know, he's just kind of in a weird spot here in Winnipeg. Assuming Vili doesn't get any runway this year and he just plays out the year with the Moose, I I think there could be an opening for him next year and maybe the best chance he's ever had at making the team uh, as I don't think Brennan Dillon's getting re-signed uh, this offseason. I really don't. I think the Jets are going to prioritize DeMello because he's such a good fit with Morrissey and I think that Morrissey wants DeMello as his partner for the next, you know, three to four years, whatever the deal may end up being. I just don't think that Brennan Dillon is coming back. He's a UFA at the end of the year and, you know, he's been great. But I don't think that the Jets are going to be willing to pay a 33-year-old defenseman for the next, you know, three years, three, four years. I'd imagine that's the term that Dylan's looking for. And he's already not the quickest guy. He plays a rugged game. His falloff could come at really any time. This year, he's having a really good year. Who knows what he'll be next season. And, you know, the Jets have a lot of guys to pay, you know, right now and in the future. So... I don't think that he's a guy they're going to bring back. In that case, I think that next season, Dylan Sandberg would probably move up into the top four. He's been incredible this season, and Billy Hanela would slide up into the, you know, third left D spot behind him there. So it would be Morrissey, Sandberg, and then Hanela on the left side. I think that's definitely possible. We'll see if that comes to fruition. Uh, maybe Billy's dealt before then. Maybe that's irrelevant. Uh, but we'll see what happens here in the future. But in conclusion, Philly Hanela and Logan Stanley, two very different players. One guy is more tall and big, and the other guy is more small and skilled, right? In the past two to three seasons, I don't know if there's been a hotter, more aggressive argument than who's better, Philly Hanela or Logan Stanley? Who's going to be the top four defenseman, Philly Hanela or Logan Stanley, right? Because it always seemed like it had to be one or the other. And now, with the Jets contending, seem like they're in a position to go forward and be buying more at the deadline and solidifying this team as a cup contender what happens with these guys do they get moved do they get promised a spot next season you know with maybe guys like Brendan Dillon not sticking around I don't know and it's very interesting to me and uh, you know kind of funny in hindsight how in the end after all that fighting after everything went down and how the fan base was totally split on these two players they never really got a run. They never really ended up being what we thought they were going to be, both first-round picks, and to this point have not developed into top four defensemen. You can make the argument that, you know, maybe Vili Candela hasn't had his chance to do that, and I'm one of those people that think that he's going to be a successful defenseman in the NHL. However, I don't know if it's going to be with the Jets. He may get moved. Logan Stanley, I think he's had his chances, but he just really hasn't panned out, and he's a bottom pairing guy, you know, 7th D kind of guy at the end of the day. We'll see what happens with these two players in the future here, uh, but you know, it kind of does seem like the writing is on the wall and the decisions are going to have to be made either at the trade deadline or this offseason on Logan Stanley and Vili Hanula. Will they be Winnipeg Jets? Uh, you know, for the rest of the season, will they beat Winnipeg Jets next season? I want to hear from you guys down below in the comments. Definitely let me know your thoughts on the Villy and Stan situation. I want to hear it from you guys. But with that said, I am done. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Go Jets, go! Bye-bye.